Okay, MMP here. I've gotten a lot of comments and questions about what all I've done to my Emacs to make it stronger, better, faster, whatever. And I'm assuming people want to know what I've done to my Slash as well. So I'm going to show you. First, let's start with the Emacs. I did just paint a new body for it. Uh, it's a Revo body, actually. Um, just painted it simple black, put the red tracks and stickers on it. It's a Crowd Pleaser 2.0. So, what I've done with the Emacs, obviously 700 HOs. Great, great addition. They're tough, they're strong, they're big, lots of torque. I did have the two speed conversion in there. Uh, I've taken it out. I had some trouble with it. I liked it at first, um, then kind of not like it so much. It's great if you do a lot of snow running, uh, tall grass, mud. But I could never get it to shift on the fly, so I took it out. I still have a servo in there. I'll take that out eventually. But uh, you guys already know I did dye the chassis black and the bulkheads black. Um, I did put RPM shock towers front and back, RPM body mounts, the RPM upper and lower A arms front and back. Big difference, haven't broken any of those. I've put steel CVDs all the way around. I have the Traxxas hollow tubes. I did put aluminum skid plates front and back. That really, really helps with keeping your bulkheads intact. Uh, I was using energy skid plates before. Didn't help at all. That, that aluminum is really, really soft. Uh, I'm sure some of their products are good, but skid plates, not so much. I have some RC1 front bumpers and front bumper mounts. Um, put the talons on there. Uh, RC1 rear bumper as well. Um, that's really about it as far as um, upgrades I've made to the Emax. The gearing is uh, 2568 uh, for the pinion and spur respectively. Okay, now for the slash. Now I've had the slash about a month now and I have made some upgrades most recently the new body I painted this up yesterday got the true flames on the front in metallic green uh, what I did you may or may not be able to see it too well hopefully if you watch the high def version of this video you will I sprayed water droplets on the body painted it with that metallic green it gave it kind of a silver bubble look you can see it a little better there in the light. Uh, not too stand out, but it is there. You can see that it has kind of a, a hunter green tint to it because I backed it in black. Um, I think it's a cool effect. It looks pretty cool to me anyway. It's the first time I've ever done true flames. They actually turned out pretty well, I think. Well, let me know what you think. Anyway. Let's get to the meat and potatoes. As with the Emacs, of course you have to dye the chassis black. That's just me. I like doing that. It's easy to do. Just get you some RIT dye. I use that. Put it in a pot of boiling water. Let it boil for a minute. Knock all your stuff off your shelf. Um, let it boil for about 15 minutes. Uh, the bigger the piece, the longer it needs to soak. Um, I did do this 15 minutes. Of course, take everything off of it. No electronics, no nothing. Um, in here, I have the Valenium brushless system. So, of course, I'm running some Max Amps LiPos. Now, let me know what you think. Is it LiPo or is it LiPo? I, I've heard both. I say potato, potato, still the same battery. Anyway, really like these. Long run times, that's a 5250 milliamp hour, three cell lipo. Um, what I've done to the, to the slash here, just like the um, Emacs, I put some talent tires on it. These are for the um, Stampede, Stampede size tires. I really like those, they're pretty cool. I did have to shim up the shocks just a little bit and trim the body, obviously, because it, it rubs like crazy. Still handles pretty good, it's good and stable. 
Uh, of course, you get a brushless system in this with with uh, those batteries. It tends to do this real fast on the street. So, but it'll do that with anything. Uh, RPM arms, front and back. Um, I'm running the 2883 uh, gear set in there. I'm probably going to put the stock 23 pinion in just because it's almost too much. Um, I did have some MIP CVDs in the back. They broke in about 15 minutes if you've seen my other video. So you notice on like the Rustler, uh, Stampede, Slash, Antenna is about yay long. What I did is I just pulled it back through the antenna tube and coiled it up. I haven't seen any difference in performance as far as um, the transmitter getting to the receiver. That's pretty much it. I love it, man. This thing is fast. Very fast. So, take it easy. Peace out.